Good morning. Welcome to Physics World. Today we discuss about Chapter Eight: Electrical Conductivity of Liquids. Every day in our life, we see so many things. Like we walk, we use refrigerators, televisions, washing machines, etc. And all these electric appliances works based on electricity. The question is how they are getting the electricity. Yes. from the main supply but from the main supply they are getting electricity through cables and if you just get into the cables and you check you get to know that inside the cable you have copper wires of course copper wires are insulated by plastic material so these copper wires are the main carriers main canals i can say which allow the current to pass from one point to the other point and copper is a metal In the chapter four, metals and non-metals, we have discussed that all metals are good conductors of electricity. Conductivity is nothing but the strength of demonstrating a property. Electrical conductivity is a demonstration of electrical nature, allowing current. So all metals allow current, and you can you know that most of the metals are solid in nature. Now my question is that do you have the same electrical conductivity in liquids? or all the liquids have the same electrical conductivity or there is any difference between the liquids in terms of electrical conductivity so to know answers for all these questions let us start this chapter so if you go to the village side you heard this type of news many times that the farmers when they switching on the motor electric motor and when switching on electric motor with wet hand they got electric shocks why they getting electric shock with the when they touch the electric mains at the motor with wet hand similarly your elders always suggest you that stay away from the electric heater which is used for heating the water why there is a reason behind that these two examples tells you that there is there may be a possibility of electrical conductivity in liquids so before going to those uh, properties of liquids let us recap the electrical conductivity of the different materials especially solid bodies so to understand that let us do a demonstration so i am preparing a simple a simple electric circuit a simple electric circuit here we want we will going to test that uh, uh, i'll give so many materials to you in those materials which material is good conductor of electricity and which material is bad conductor of electricity we have to check right so what we do we take a cell a small battery take a cell of 1.5 volts enough so take a cell of 1.5 volts it's a cell which is having 1.5 volts of voltage and this cell is connected to a cardboard this is a cardboard cardboard and these are the connecting wires and these wires connected to a electric bulb type material this is called led soon i will tell you what is the advantage of led and what what is led so this led is connected and this led now from the led another electric wire comes and this electric wire again connected to cardboard using using two drawing pins two drawing pins like this so the circuit is constructed do you think the circuit is completed no circuit is not completed because it is open you have to close the circuit here so to close the circuit what we do uh, initially we will take the help of safety pin we will take the help of safety pin this is a safety pin yeah right now this is safety pin these are wires any copper wire you can take 
copper wires that is cell and I already written LED this is cardboard now if you see the simple circuit clearly actually is not closed if you want to make it closed what you have to do you make the safety pin to touch the other end of the cardboard that is the draw, drawing pin so when now the safety pin touches the drawing pin immediately the current flows in the circuit and LED glows LED means light emitting diode it glows so it, it itself says that yes the safety pin is a good conductor of electricity now test the same electrical conductivity of different materials like number one a strip of paper two straw a drinking straw three pencil four rubber five plastic six iron rod a simple thin iron rod etc so when you check all these things and replace them replace the safety pin with all these items and check the electric conductivity and understand which are good conductors of electricity which are bad conductors of electricity and if you demonst if you do demonstration of with all these items then you get to know that strip of paper is a bad conductor doesn't allow the current straw bad conductor pencil bad conductor rubber bad conductor plastic bad conductor iron good conductor so this demonstration a simple electric circuit tells you the tells you and and give the advantage of checking the types of materials and the, then their conductivity now this demonstration is understand now coming to our main point of the chapter electrical conductivity of liquids now how would we test that whether the liquids have conductivity or not so before checking the conductivity of liquids let us understand what is electrical conductivity so electrical conductivity is nothing but allowing allowing flow of electrons so you know that current is because of flow of electrons or simply you can say allowing current so which metal has the feature or the nature of allowing more number of electrons that metal has can allow the current and that metal can be called as good conductor and which material doesn't allow the flow of electrons or doesn't allow the current we can say it's a bad conductor so if you take the iron copper all these metals are good conductors of electricity because they are allowing huge amount of electric flow okay now come to our main point electric conductivity of liquids we will check with the, by constructing a simple electric circuit as before to understand the conductivity of liquid.